8.1.7. Beta Limited manufactures items used in steel industry. The following data of the company is given for your consideration. Raw material expected level of production 9000 units per annum. Raw material are expected to remain in store for an average of two months before issue to production. So raw material are two months. Work in progress 50% completion as to conversion cost will be approximately half month production. Finished goods remains in warehouse on an average of one month. Credit allowed by supplier is one month. Two months credit is normally allowed to datas. A minimum cash balance of 67,500 is expected to be maintained. Cash sales are 70% less than the credit sales. Safety margin 20%. The production pattern is assumed to be even during the year. The cost structure of beta limited is as follows. Raw material is 80. Direct labor and overhead are conversion cost out of which 20 is depreciation. Total cost 180 per unit. Profit is 20 and selling price is 200. You are required to estimate the working capital requirement of Beta Limited. How I'll be doing it? I'll be finding out all current assets minus current liability. I'll be getting working capital requirement at a production level of 9000 units. See whenever this type of production level is given for all the points, I will be taking this as a base. I will not be uh, deciding opening, closing and then deciding how much units are purchased, especially for creditors. If this level is given, yes. If opening stock, closing stock are given, we can do that detailed calculation. Let us take at 9000 units. Let us start one by one. Raw material are expected to remain in stores for an average of two months before issue of production. We are going to purchase or consume 9000 units for raw material. Nine thousand units multiplied by they are expected to remain for two months before issue of production into two divided by twelve. This will be my raw material stock in units, which is nine thousand into two divided by 12, which is fifteen hundred. Which price should be taken into consideration? Only raw material cost, which is 80 rupees. Let us open our Excel sheet and put in all the points. A raw material a stock will be of 1500 units. Rate applicable will be 80. So total will be 120,000 for raw material stock. Let us go to WIP. Work in progress, 50% as uh, conversion cost will be approximately half month's production. WIP, 9000 units into 0 0.5 divided by 12. 9000 into 0.5 divided by, which is 375 units. What should be rate taken for WIP? It should be production cost. So I should be taking 80, 20 and 80. But try to understand. It is 50% complete as to conversion cost. So for raw material, it is 100% complete. What is raw material? 80. 100% complete. And it is 50% complete for conversion cost. And this is my conversion cost. 80 plus 20, which is 100 rupees. All right. Now, I will be deciding whether I should take a depreciation or not. See, if you will see suggested answers, they have given by both the methods. I always take it as a cash cost. See, the question does not satisfy, uh, say that you find out by cash cost method or including depreciation method. Try to understand depreciation number one is non-cash. Number two, depreciation relates to fixed asset and fixed asset does not uh, is not considered while calculating working capital requirement. So I normally do it at cash cost basis. So instead of this 80, 60 is others and 20 is depreciation. So I will be taking instead of 100, 20 rupees labor full and overhead only 60 rupees. What will be the answer? 
दिस विल बी फोर्टी वन ट्वेंटी रुपीज डब्ल्यू आई पी थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव यूनिट्स एट अ कॉस्ट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी विल बी फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड दिस इज वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस फिनिश गुड्स रिमेन इन वेर हाउस फॉर वन मंथ लेट एस फाइंड आउट फिनिश गुड्स नाइन थाउजेंड यूनिट्स इंटू वन डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व सेवन फिफ्टी वॉट शुड बी टेकन हंड्रेड परसेंट प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट विच इज एटी फॉर रॉ मटीरियल ट्वेंटी फॉर लेबर and 60 for overhead excluding depreciation this is 160 rupees so finished goods will be 750 units at a rate of 160 let us go to datas and datas will be relevant first Uh, I can go line by line, question wise also. Credit allowed by supplier is one month. Let me do creditors first. How many units have purchased? Nine thousand units. Please understand. I could have also done this. How many units of raw material are manufactured? Nine thousand units. What is closing stock of raw material? Fifteen hundred. That I need to manufacture. How much raw material is in WIP? Three seventy-five. How much raw material are in finished goods? Seven fifty. But please understand if I do this, instead of nine thousand, I take this figure. there are closing then i should reduce my opening also opening figures are not given anywhere it is also not given that this is first year of manufacturing so we can take opening zero in absence of information if it is told that expected level of production activity is 9000 units i will assume whatever is purchased is what is manufactured 9000 units Creditors period is credit allowed to supplier is one month into one divided by twelve, which will be seven fifty units. And for creditors, I should be taking purchase price of raw material that is eighty rupees. So I'll be getting answer of creditors seven fifty rate applicable will be eighty. Next. Two months credit is normally allowed to debtors. A minimum cash balance sixty-seven thousand five hundred. Yes, the six and eight we are taking it together. Cash sales are seventy-five percent less than credit sales. Cash sales are seventy-five percent less than credit sales. All right. Total sales. Is nine thousand. What is termed as cash sales are seventy five percent less than credit sales. So if credit sales is hundred, cash sales is twenty five. Cash sales are seventy five percent less than credit sales. That is cash sales is twenty five, and total is one twenty five. Are we having total sales? Yes, nine thousand units. In absence of information, I will be assuming uh, that whatever is manufactured is sold. Nine thousand into hundred divided by twenty-five. Seven thousand two hundred. Seven thousand two hundred units will be nothing but credit <coughs> sales. What rate we should take? Seven 
normally if nothing is given you should be taking daters on cost are we having cost yes 180 minus 20 of depreciation that is 160 rupees can you take daters at selling price yes then you should be taking at 200 rupees i am taking it at cost in absence of information you can always take it at cost remove depreciation from it which is nothing but 160 rupees credit sales i should be taking 160 rupees i'll be putting it in my excel sheet daters 7200 units at a rate of 160 this will be my data i think cash and bank is directly given a minimum cash balance of 67500 is required there are no information for outstanding uh, labor and overhead safety margin is 20 percent for contingencies so uh, we can take safety margin before that let us find out net working capital this is total current assets minus total current liability i will be getting net working capital that is 14 lakh 44500 net working capital 14 lakh 44000 add 20% contingencies margin 14,44,500 into 20% which is 2,88,900 plus 14,44,500 is nothing but net working capital requirement after contingencies. Uh, I think this data speakers is incorrect because it is very high 7200 yes 7200 is credit sales we need to take data period in it two months credit is normally allowed to data so this will be 7200 into 2 divided by 12 7200 into 2 divided by 12 which is a 1200 1200 units at the rate of 160 as i am using excel sheet everything will be converted automatically my net working capital requirement is 484500 Net working capital requirement will be 4,84,500. I need to add 20% contingencies. 96,900. Four lakh eighty-four thousand five hundred plus ninety-six thousand nine. Five lakh eighty-one thousand four will be nothing but net working capital requirement. Don't make this type of mistake as I am doing it. Uh, we, instead of daters, we had taken credit sales first. So our answer was incorrect. Now we have rectified our answer. This is again an easy question 8.1.7 May to, uh, 2019. 